Okay, Coach T from TackleTrading.com doing a quick video on uh, how to use Finviz to scan for candidates to trade. Uh, one of the f first and best things that you should ever do as a trader is develop a watch list. The entire concept of having to scan every day for a new trade is not necessarily mandatory for, for everybody out there, but I know many of you do want to do that. So I'm going to talk about some of the basic features here inside their screener. So if you go to Finviz and you click on Screener, you'll see a bunch of drop-down menus. Okay, And let's start there. You'll have different tabs, Descriptive, Fundamental, Technical, or All. Some people prefer to look at the entire list of everything available. Others will go tab by tab because you know, it shortens things up and they can find stuff. Uh, one of the first things you'll ever do is put in a volume filter. Now there are different volumes. There's average volume, which by the way, if you take your mouse and you either click or highlight any of the columns, it will give you a quick definition of it. The average number of shares traded in a security per day. So I like to do a million. Some people will say 500K. Uh, if you're just trading stock, I mean, you could trade something for 50K or 100K. Uh, if you're investing and you get a good fill, I mean, you can trade anything tradable. But if you're, if you're doing short-term stuff or if you're considering using options at all, you want more liquidity than less. So I'm going to put in over a million shares. Okay, we're going to start right there. You'll notice it kind of filters, and then it brings my number down. There are 1,308 stocks in the Fizz, Finviz screener that trade over a million shares a day on average. Now relative volume is the ratio between the current volume and the three month average. Now that is if it's going up or down, you know, different choices here. We can say, well, I want to find stocks that have 10 times the amount of value, volume than they normally do. Uh, or I want to have it two times the amount of volume they normally do. Let's click on two here. This is going to be really limiting, and it won't always be good for you to put that in. Depending on the time of the day, how much time has passed, that will affect the volume. Uh, you can test out anything in, in a screener, and it will bring it down. Now, that brought us down to 95 stocks that trade over a million shares. And at this time, this is about just afternoon on the East Coast, that are over twice the normal shares in volume on relative volume. The current volume, this will tell you whether or not it's trading You know the, the exact amount. Uh, of what it's doing that day. Current volume, the actual definition, is the number of shares traded today. So we say relative volume over two. Current volume we could have used as well. We're going to leave that one down. Uh, let's stay with the descriptive tab. Exchange. Well, Amex, the American Stock Exchange. Mostly ETFs on that one. NASDAQ, tech heavy. Uh, New York Stock Exchange. Market cap. The size of the company, you know, you can if you want stable companies, maybe you go for the mega companies or the large, large cap companies, mid cap, small. Those aren't going to be as tradable, but they will be more volatile. So there would be different reasons to use the market capitalization. Earnings date is helpful when you're looking for earnings based ideas. You know, there's a video uh, under the video vault in tackle trading called vol build or vol crush. You should go scan for it. It's a real, it's an hour long. But it's a really good watch if you haven't seen it yet, where I talk about different earnings strategies. This could be helpful. Uh, index, just the S&P or the Dow. Dividend, if you're looking for a company that, that does pay a dividend for a specific reason, you could filter there. Sector, okay, basic materials, conglomerates, all the way down the list. Float short, different pressure. Now this is how many shares have been shorted by other traders on the market. If you don't know about something, you shouldn't really click on it. I mean, some companies will carry float, you know, short that's over 10% doesn't necessarily mean they're bearish. It means that there are certain traders that believe they're overvalued and they've shorted that stock. It could be an, it's an interesting thing to look at at times, but we're going to leave it off for now. Industry is, an, is a good one, uh, you know, especially if you have ideas that you're looking for. Uh, today, the, the crude oil markets are, are popping up, so maybe what we should do is like with companies that have over a million shares in volume that have relative volume over two, maybe we look for oil and gas. Well, we could do drilling, we could do equipment, we could do pipelines, we could do refining. Now, if we do an industry, it's going to limit us down quite a bit. We also could do just a sector instead and just have the entire basic material sector come in why don't we do that that's going to be just 10 companies okay so even just using some simple filters volume relative volume and now basic materials we've now brought in 10 different stocks that are having big days with big volume then we would go and read them uh, the more you filter the 
the less number of stocks you're going to bring in here, so you have to be careful about filtering too much. I also like using the country button, especially when it's tied to something I read in the heat or saw in the heat maps when I'm going through my daily routine. I might look for certain country, you know, uh, China, China sometimes, you know, or or whatever, Brazil or whatever it is. Optionable is usually a good button to click if you're going to trade options. See, that took one of the results off the list. And then if you do have price parameters that you like to stick to for your strategies, you would use this filter here. It just all depends on what you're trading, quite frankly. For the purpose of what we're doing here, I'm just going to say over $20 a share. Get some bigger ones. So that brings us down to four different companies. And we'll leave fundamental and technical for another time. Let me just keep, stay on the descriptive tab. And let's just then show you how you can look at different uh, lists as after you've done your scan. Valuation, you can look at some of the fundamentals, financials, ownership, performance. You can look at the technicals. It'll give you where the SMAs are and all that kind of stuff. I like clicking on either charts where it will list just a quick chart and then I can make a quick reading and then go look at it further in my softwares or my brokerage accounts. And I also like the snapshot view. Okay. Snapshot gives you a, a bigger chart, a little bit bigger, and a, a view over here that uh, you know shows you some of the fundamentals of that chart, who the company is, what industry they're in, what, when the earnings date is, all that kind of stuff. You know, and then you can go through and you can make some of your choices. All right, guys. Uh, you know, and one one quick note, just to, let me take out maybe the relative volume, show you when there are more than say twenty companies you're going to get different pages so if you have a really big list on the scan consider refining it further but if you do get to the bottom look for the number of pages you can always just go next and then keep looking through your scan until you find candidates that you want to trade okay it's been coach T from tackletrading.com thanks for uh, watching our videos in our video vault one quick note we, we do have our new clubhouse up and running and uh, we want you to get over there and get active uh, the clubhouse is a place where you can ask questions, you can communicate with other traders, you can talk, you know, we have Forex Pip Talk, talk the Commodity Corner, the Theta Club, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and if you have a request on a video, just post it in the clubhouse and we'll definitely, definitely get that done for you. Get, get off the sidelines and take control of your financial future at www.tackletrading.com. Get in the game.